Hi guys, Mike Manalo from Nerds of Color. I'm here with Grace Fulton, Ian Chan, Faith Herman, and Jovan Armand. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. First things first, to the camera, I just wanted to say, David and Peter, you gotta get this cat some of these shirts. They want them, Hi. they're amazing. Um, but, um, first off, um, I wanted to ask, because we are the Nerds of Color and we want to speak about diversity across the comic book movie medium, where do you want to see Shazam influencing um, superhero movies going forward in terms of diversity? Yeah, well, I think that with this film, like you said, there's a lot of diversity. We have, you know, a Latino, we have African American, we have Asian. It's, it's, it's more relatable and, it, you know, we're also foster kids in a foster home. And that's something that I think touches on subjects that we haven't really seen before in superhero films and just in films in general. And I think that with this, it's, it's a powerful message that I hope that, you know, continues to happen in the film industry and, you know, creates a relatable story for kids to look up to us and, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, I think it's really important for kids to, like, be able to see like the race on the television, so they have someone, somebody to look up to, somebody yeah. to have a role model as. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. Um, so awesome. Yeah. I know. You guys are wise beyond your years. I love it. <laughs> if I can ask, if you guys today could just say the word Shazam and get any superpower that you want, and apologies if this is a repeated question, what would it be down the line? Healing or regeneration body properties. Nice, like Wolverine. Control of technology. Ooh, Technomancer. Fly or in invisibility. I love that. <laughs> why, why would you choose flight? Because when I go to San Diego to LA, there's a lot of traffic, so I just want to fly over the freeway. That's the best answer. That's, yes, that, that I am. That's really okay. smart. <laughs> I would there's say. There's traffic coming, coming over here. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I would say either speed or strength. Love yeah. that. If I can do some rapid fire questions with you guys. Oh, yeah, um, sure. First off, I wanted to say the chemistry between all of you guys is palpable. And as well with Asher and Jack, um, you guys make the best family. Um, so feel free to sell them out when I give you these rapid fire questions. Okay, okay, you ready? But, um, I already know really quickly, gonna... who's the funniest? Jack. 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 Yeah. Who's the grossest? Jack. 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 <laughs> um, okay, uh, who's the nerdiest? Ian? Oh. No, oh. I'm no? Okay. Grace. Grace. Grace is nerdy. Grace and Ian. Okay, I'll Grace and Ian. They're both nerds. <laughs> Who's the biggest diva? Oh. Jack. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. No one's really a diva. Nobody, yeah, no, nobody's. Nobody's a big diva? Nobody's Love big that. Diva. And who is the most likely to be a big, big superhero? Or is it all of you guys? All of us. Zachary Levi. Of course. Zachary Levi. Zachary Levi. Zachary Levi. Zachary Levi. Zachary Levi. Well, I love that you guys were here. Thank you so much for everything. The movie is amazing. You guys are amazing. And I love you guys. Looking forward to Shazam 2. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks, guys.